Thank you, Madame Table Toastmasters, <laughs> uh, honored guests, and fellow members of this great club. All right. <sighs> it was a cool, starry autumn night. The stars shine brighter than searchlights on lighthouses. The wind kissed our faces gently with whispers of love. The grass, still damp from the midday rain, wrapped around our toes with tickles and happiness. My friend Amanda and I sat together behind the school on the rolling hills in a small Canadian town called Halifax. We did this often as best friends, but tonight was different. After staring silently at the night sky for what seemed like hours, she turned to me and asked, what is our purpose in life? What is our purpose in life? These six words said to me by my best friend in 2001, first grade have been with me for the past 16 years. I didn't know the answer back then, so I did what any kid my generation does when faced with something we don't know. Look it up on the internet. <laughs> well, Googling sure didn't help because it seemed that everyone had a different answer. Some referred to philosophers from the ages past, some referred to friends and family, and some referred to Bill Gates and how they can save the world. But for me, I've been searching for my own answer to this question for a very long time. Let me tell you about my childhood. So my family are immigrants from China. <laughs> we moved to Canada when I was four. And during the first 10 years, my dad was, uh, had to work long hours and provide for the family. So he wasn't home all that much. My mom, uh, she is deaf. She has inner ear nerve damage. So hearing aids don't work at all. And because of that, I had to often help my mom with translation and phone calls. One funny thing that happens all the time if you're a kid is that when you're on the phone with someone, uh, they would definitely call you Miss or Ma'am because your 10-year-old voice sounds like a girl's. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we also moved around all the time during, uh, due to my dad's work. I went to 11 different schools in my life compared to the three or four you might be used to. So in 2003, I went to China for third grade, 2004. Back to Halifax for fourth grade, 2005, went to Toronto uh, for fifth and sixth grade at different schools. 2007, we immigrated to the United States. I uh, finished my middle school in two different states at two, two different schools. One high school, thankfully. And for college, I was accepted at the University of California at Berkeley. But what do you do when you're me and you get to the top, you know, number one private school? You drop out, right, of course. Um, <laughs> So I hopped around. I went to uh, four different universities and settled at the University of Arizona. So going to three times the amount of schools in, my, in many parts of the world gives you different per perspectives on the different ways of life. My childhood experiences made me mature faster and forced me to learn things on the fly. And even with all this, I still not could find my purpose. I still don't have one, but I did learn one thing. Purpose is a trick of the brain. It makes us see connections where there is none. We don't need to fit our lives into some neat little package. We don't need to squeeze ourselves into some narrative with some great purpose. So what is our purpose in life? Some, uh, many that came before us have tackled this question. Many who come after us will face this challenge themselves. Money, fame, fortune, sure, they're all good answers. I don't know what my purpose is, even if you ask me on a starry autumn night. But, I, what, but what I do know now is that you don't need a purpose to live a damn good life, because it's not our purpose, but our actions who determine who we are. Thank you.